Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are in Kyoto and we are gonna be exploring some amazing sights and take you along with us. got here at 6 30 and as you can see it's already quite busy yeah. so we're gonna hike up higher which apparently is like three hours yeah a three hour hike i'm not doing three hours though no. i just want to find a little quiet spot to yeah get, get some, some photos <laughs> Just approaching Rhea's arch nemesis. Stairs. Da, da, da. So I think we're going to end our time here and head to the next spot because I do not want to walk upstairs. This is my kind of place. Rest area. You could get paid to rest, I there think. There is nothing better in this life than that. So we had a really nice morning in the shrines and now we're headed to our next spot which is Arashiyama Bamboo Grove. So this is another really famous spot here in Kyoto. We just got off the bus in Arashiyama and this area looks so cute already. It's like really quaint, really green, a lot more country side vibes than the city of Kyoto and we're really excited to explore the bamboo forest. This has been on our bucket list for a long time. <laughs> So the bamboo forest was a big surprise actually. Yeah, it was nice. It was underwhelming at first, but then when you get to the actual forest, it's a lot better. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, but very busy. I'd say if yeah. you want it to yourself and a bit more peaceful, come, come ready early. maybe before eight in the morning, because now it's half 10. Yeah, it's very um, busy. But if you have more time in Kyoto, it's actually better because you can go to the gates one day and this another day. Yeah. But we only have one day, so. Yeah. I'll now we are going to go get a coffee. Something we've noticed in Japan is that there are people walking around with this jacket with built-in fans, which is like revolutionary. So cool. Why don't I have one of them? We need them, and we need them in England blowing out hot air, like a hairdryer. <laughs> By far the most cutest dog just walked by. It had a little skirt on and it had its own buggy. Honestly, the pets in Japan are so cute. They're like dressed up like little dolls. It's just amazing. We're heading to our next spot now, which is Monkey Park. Hopefully we can feed some monkeys. Yes. We just had a lovely day. That restaurant was so cute and the views here are so beautiful. Stunning. It's just... Doesn't it doesn't feel like we're in Japan. No, it doesn't. It reminds me of like how I can imagine Switzerland. Yeah. Just so peaceful, loads of mountains. Clean. Clean. Oh yeah, such a nice area. We just stumbled across this little stall that are selling like these strawberries in like a little bun and Rhea's like, I need to get one. They're like 300, which is £1.50. So I wanted to try these ever since I saw them on other people's channels because they just look really good. So yeah, I'm going to try one. It's a rice cake with bean and strawberry. Probably won't like it, but I want to try it anyway. Hey, thank you. Oh, it smells really good. Mm. How good is that? <laughs> Tried some rice cake kind of stuff in South Korea and it, it wasn't good. was not good, no. But this, oh. It's 
Unreal. Unreal. Oh, it's so warm out today and this is so refreshing. Go on. Good, right? Just a cucumber. Yeah, but it's got a nice flavour. Mm. Mm. Alright, if you don't want it, I'll have it then. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> made it to the monkey park unfortunately there's a hell of a lot of stairs and the entrance is 600 yen each so hopefully it's worth it because this is the first thing we've actually paid for today minus the coffee So we reached the top, the view is absolutely insane, there's loads of monkeys everywhere and they're so cute, you can even buy some like snacks to feed them if you want, but we're not going to do that, I'm guessing that they have enough food in a day, but yeah, definitely recommend coming up here, it was 100% worth the money. So how did you find it? I actually really enjoyed that. I like the fact that the monkeys are not enclosed, they're free. And um, yeah, just loved it. So we're at our last stop of the day. We're at Kinkakuji Temple. <laughs> I think I said that right. Oh my gosh, guys, it is beautiful. so it is beautiful. Stunning. It is one of the most impressive temples we have ever seen. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that has to be the best looking temple I've ever seen in my life. Oh, guys, we're exhausted. We are. We've, we've had been... no naps today whatsoever. No naps. And we've been out, well, we're awake since 5 a.m. Yeah. It's now half four, which actually, I should mention this. Uh, Wait, someone's ooh. getting a picture. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so the temple actually closes at half four, so make sure you come before them. We yes. were lucky, actually. If we were any later, we wouldn't have been able to get in. And the entrance is 500 per person, which quite is quite good, actually. Quite good, yeah. yeah. It's absolutely stunning. And now it's kind of ruined our temple experience any other time now, because we're never going to see another gold temple. But anyway, we're heading for dinner. And it might a drink. be a beer. Yeah, I think we deserve it. Maybe. So we keep getting these things happen. We'll say something and then we'll see it. And it's and the so same weird. Day. Yeah, and we literally was on the bus saying something and we was like, oh, we should call it like a Stardust Latte. And then we've just seen it. And I was saying at the same time, we should play jazz and blah, 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 blah. Okay, this totally looks like us. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? We just threw our staff Hello. and we're gonna pin it, but it's so embarrassing because everyone else is so good. Like, who's got this talent? How's else could go, right? Hey. And our friends? Very nice. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. And our new friends? Hey. <laughs> Okay, we've left the bar with our new friends. Yeah! And now we're gonna go oh, and get something to eat. Something very famous worldwide, and that is McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> the golden arches! The golden arches! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited for this double 
it a fish. <laughs> we got a little excited. <laughs> this never happens in the UK. No. It normally it looks like it's been squashed. It actually looks like the photo. Almost. Yeah? Almost. We're missing right. lettuce. We're missing lettuce and a pickle. <laughs> a pickle. <laughs> oh, I see a pickle. It has to be on the outside though. It looks a bit sorry, but it's okay. It's ridiculous. Right, so. I think we're going to end the vlog here, guys. <laughs> if you enjoyed exploring Kyoto with us today, please, please comment, subscribe, and like, and it goes a long way for us, and we'll see you in the next video.